All right, you guys are at Sherry's house taking a look at a 105,000 BTU furnace, looking at replacing this. <clears throat> I think it's probably a tad bit oversized. The house is about 1,400 square feet. Uh, it is probably plaster and lath, but we'll take a look closer at that. Uh, and then new coil, new supply plenum. Uh, we are about I think, 74 inches from, from the supply to the floor. Uh, I got measurements of that. Return, uh, we're about 71 and a half. Uh, coming down, we got about a five inch spacer, so we will measure the return, put in a um, a patch more than likely. However, this might get down to 17 inches and give you just the right amount of room for the filter. Uh, flu piping, we may look at replacing this. So this comes up, runs over, goes out right through uh, here. We don't necessarily have to have that other one going out except for uh, the issue of possibly the water heater pulling an intake. Um, so um, I don't know, it's just going out through the flu, so uh, may not be an issue. I'll take a look at that. And then line set comes up, runs over, and that goes out right through here. So AC is just sitting right there. And we can, if we go, make, go with new flu piping, we'll go two inch all the way back to the unit with two pipes. New condensate drain running over, hidden floor drain. Uh, new humidifier, and then you know, the back side, pretty much from here on down, will get taken out and obviously return on down, will get taken out. Uh, the panel is right over here. We're on the 30 amp GE. Um, I've already looked at this, took the cover plate off, looked at some wiring because she says she's getting a bunch of flickering. So I just wanted to look at any burnt terminals, didn't see anything. AC is the top 30 amp. Uh, so we made an electrical come out and take a look if there's any issues after uh, after we install. Uh, no walkout, so pretty much I go straight up and out uh, through there. Two steps.